We have so much to celebrate in Division II, but we're especially proud of our commitment to make a wish. Division II student athletes have led a 10 year initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Nearly $3 million have been raised, and hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple because we care. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, you're tuned into the Lions Den, official source of UCCS Sports. Your UCCS men's soccer team going to be in action on the road this weekend as they travel to play Westminster and Colorado Mesa in what will certainly be a pivotal two games as they near the end of the regular season. Currently sitting in third place. Alexander Zender of UCCS Athletics. Joining me today from the men's soccer team is Derek Sun. And move up that rate. The top two teams get a bye in the first round. Teams three and four will host in the first round. So that's the goal, either to become first or second to get that bye, or third or fourth to get that home game. So right now your Mountain Lions sitting at eight, five, and one overall, seven and three in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference with one of their opponents this weekend sitting on top of all of the conference. Colorado Mesa has yet to lose in conference play, 9-0-1, oh, 10-1-3 overall. So a very tough opponent. And then their other game against Westminster, on paper, Charlie, that looks like the game that I think they have the much easier time with. Because yeah. Westminster comes in 3-10 and ten overall, 2-8 and eight in the RMAC. Well, you know, we've already played Westminster before. It was September 16th, and we won 3-0. So definitely have seen them before, know what we're going into for that one. And with uh, Westminster right now, they are outscored 33-13 to 13 in goals this season. So definitely a tough one, but like we always say, records really don't mean anything in the RMAC. Any team can beat anyone on a, any given day, and especially for this Colorado Mesa game. That is the biggest game. I know Westminster comes first and they mm -hmm. focused on that one, but that Colorado Mesa game, if they can pull out that victory and somehow, you know, with the RMAC, a lot of teams, you can win, you can lose, again, any given day. Right. So it really depends. That they're, they're holding their fate in their own hands, playing Colorado Mesa, and already played Regis, went one and one there. So they hold their own fate, but that Colorado Mesa game will be a big one. And if they can take them down the first one, the first time in the RMAC this season, mm -hmm. it'd be a lot of fun. And we've seen it before. Well, when Regis was ranked fifth in the mm -hmm. nation, their first loss came to UCCS. Yep. So the Mountain Lions, at least in recent memory, have been giving those teams yeah. those losses. So that's really good to see. Spencer, you called the action. You were announcing that soccer game a few weeks ago when the Mount Lions hosted Westminster and won yeah. three to nothing. In that game, it was Court Searles with two goals yeah. and then Jake Demarath with the other third goal to give UCCS a 3-0 advantage, which is what they would need to get that win. What do you recall from that game? What do you remember from that first meeting that really helped the Mount Lions to victory? Yeah, I think during that game, um, a lot of things were happening. Um, they'd be able to make those assists and those connections um, off the strikers, um, but the defense actually had a heck of a game, I remember, during that. Because um, even though we look at the record and we say, oh, we can, we're going to be able to do really well versus you know Westminster, um, they came in and they were actually forced to be reckoned with. Um, but we, we had but Dave. But we reckoned with them. We did. Dave had an awesome game. You know, Aaron Hapner had an awesome game. Derek Sonnier had an awesome game. Um, and I think that the defense actually helped more in that game than the offense. Not that the offense didn't have anything to do with it, but I don't think that we were going into that game expecting him to be such a force um, from the front side. Um, and I think that, you know, coming in this time on our, on our own, or away at their field, um, they're going to have, you know, that chip on that shoulder that we keep talking about. Um, so we might see that again. So I think the defense is going to have to, you know, definitely be prepared, um, even though, you know, we look at a record of 2-8 and eight in the RMAC. Um, but they're, the defense, I feel, is going to need to step up in this game because they're going to want to score some goals on us. Well, if they got a chip on the shoulder, it's as simple as this, Spencer. The chip <laughs> is gone, and then we're going to get the win one more time. A couple of players, though, to look out for for Westminster. Their leading goal scorer is number 50, Christian Alfaro, with four goals, three assists. So he does a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Number five, Jaden Olsen, with two goals on the season. Number nine, Connor Thompson with two goals. And then number 27, Preston McEllis with two goals on the season. So a couple of players and names to look out for. On paper, again, we always say on paper, but coming into the weekend, that does look like the matchup that UCCS should have the easier time with. You mentioned Colorado Mesa, yeah. a very tough opponent. 
because we were on the other side of that winning spectrum when we played them. We lost three yeah. to zero in that game. Uh, in that game, it was number nine, Roy Abergill with two goals and number 25, Andres Delgadillo with one goal. That number nine though, Roy Abergill, 19 goals on the season, Charlie. That's wow. pretty impressive. And one more really salient statistic, I think. Uh, Colorado Mesa, the Mavericks have outscored their opponents 32 to nine on the season. So far and away better on the scoring side of things. Mm -hmm. Charlie, what's your take on that game? You know, it's that first game was a little bit, it, I have to give credit to Colorado Mesa. They are an excellent team. Absolutely. But David Meyer wasn't what David Meyer is right now. And David Meyer, every game has been picking up his level of play and his way of, uh, you know, doing everything for this team just in that goal box. He's a leader. He can stop, you know, almost anything. So mm -hmm. definitely he's going to be probably the biggest factor against Colorado Mesa. And, you know, with Roy Averill, 19 on this season, you know, the UCCS men's soccer team knows that. So definitely going to have to put two, maybe three uh, defenders on him at all times and really keep him out of the game. So it'll definitely be an interesting one to see. But again, on the road, and honestly, the UCCS men's soccer team has been better on the road with beating Regis on the road and yeah. you know playing all these national teams on the road and competing with them. So it's definitely been an interesting one, and I'm very excited to watch that, and yeah. also Westminster. Well, I think you bring up another great point, Charlie. I think it's going to be defense that will yes. help us to victory in both of these games. And speaking of defense, our very own Alexandra Zender met up with Derek Saunier of your UCCS men's soccer team for a pregame interview. Let's go ahead and cut to that interview now and get Derek's thought as one of the primary defenders for your men's soccer team. Hey, Derek, how has your week been so far? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. As a defender on the field, it's your job to keep the ball away from the goal area. What is the key to getting stops as a defender and protecting your goalkeeper? Um, I mean, it's a back line of four, um, depending on what formation you play. Um, so defending the ball against the goal is a huge thing. That's what wins you games, basically. Um, we have Dave Myers, goalie, Alex as well, um, and Scott. So, I mean, defense is what wins you games in my eyes. Um, it's a big part of the game. So stopping the ball, I mean, going to the goal is what your goal is, basically, as a defender, um, as well as attacking. Um, so it just depends. I mean, it's, it's a huge aspect of the game, like I said. So, I mean, the, the main job for, for the defenders and the team is to not people score against us. And in the backfield along with you, there's Aaron Hafner, Casey Collins, Antonio Robel, and many others. How do you guys communicate in the backfield? I mean, it's very cr crucial. I'm a quiet person, and so is Aaron Hafner. <laughs> um, so it's kind of difficult, but we've definitely stepped up this year. Um, been playing center back for three years now for the school. Um, so, I mean, it's a big part of um, the back line is to communicate the people in front of you because it makes the job easier. People in front of you, if you communicate with them, it makes your job easier as a defender. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of what our coaching staff has told us to do is communicate on the field and off the field. I mean, we have subs that come on and they also do the job of communicating where they step in on the back line or midfield or forwards. So it's a big, uh, crucial thing to the game is to talk and communicate with your team. And as a senior this year, what do you want to teach the underclassmen to take over next year since they will be stepping in your shoes? Um, just to be like a role model for them. Um, they can come to me off the field or on the field with problems they have. Um, I'm from Southern California, so whether I end up there after my four years um, or stay here, just, I mean, they can come to me with anything they have, whether it's soccer-related questions, family-related questions, school-related questions. Um, it just depends. I want to be the guy that they can come to and open and honest questions, provide feedback that they can take in their life and for the future. And as living in California, my mom does come to watch you play at Mountain Lion Stadium. How does it feel to be able to play in front of her your last year? It feels good. I mean, my parents have been supporters since day one, um, even in high school, all the way to college. So it's been a big, important thing. And my parents and my two sisters always come out and watch me. So it's been a good thing that they can be there, even though they live in California. So I'm very grateful and appreciative that they can come out and watch me play. Well, on this Friday, you play one Westminster once again. Are you going to change your game plan since you've already played them, or are you just going to play the game that you guys know how to play? Um, just play how we know how to play. I mean, I think that's the most important important part is that everyone's focused and ready to play. Luckily, we're flying there on Thursday, so we don't have to sit in a bus um, for however long that trip is. But I mean, just that we're all focused as a team and we have a game plan and we stick to it, um, whether it's direct or indirect. I mean, we all have to be on the same page. And as long as we're a team, we're on the same page, I think we'll get a good result. Well, good luck to you and the team on this Friday. Alexandra Zender once again with Derek Sanye. Thank you. Thank you.
your Mount Lions needing just one win in the remaining four games of the regular season to clinch a playoff spot. We do anticipate them getting more than just one win to clinch that spot, though. I would predict they're going to get that here this weekend, whether it is tomorrow night or Sunday or probably both. I think they're going to get at least one win this weekend on the road to clinch that spot. Again, Westminster tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, I should say, at 3 o'clock, and then Colorado Mesa on Sunday at 1. We'll be sure to have the complete results for you on our Monday show right here on the Lions Den. But we do have more to cover. When we come back, we're going to talk UCCS women's soccer. They're also going to be on the road this weekend with four games remaining in the regular season. So we'll preview those matchups when we come back right here on the Lions Den. Success comes from UCCS, from believing in yourself, from supportive faculty, from trying new things. Success comes from discovering your passion, from being fearless, from those around you. Success comes from UCCS. Apply online at uccs.edu.